Asthma and COPD are two respiratory conditions that often affect older adults, but they have key differences in their causes, symptoms, and progression. This video will provide a clear comparison between asthma and COPD in elderly patients, helping to highlight these distinctions. One of the primary differences between asthma and COPD lies in the role of allergies. Asthma is frequently associated with a history of allergies, making individuals more susceptible to triggers such as dust, pollen, pet dander, and environmental irritants. These allergens can provoke asthma attacks leading to episodes of wheezing, coughing, and shortness of breath. In contrast, COPD is not typically linked to allergies. Instead, it is primarily caused by long-term exposure to lung irritants, particularly cigarette smoke although air pollution and occupational dust or chemicals can also contribute. Smoking history is another key factor that differentiates the two conditions. While some individuals with asthma may have a history of smoking, it is not a primary cause of the disease. In contrast, COPD is strongly associated with smoking, with the majority of patients having a significant history of tobacco use. Prolonged exposure to cigarette smoke leads to irreversible damage to the airways and lung tissue, making COPD a progressive and debilitating condition that worsens over time. Breathing difficulties, or dyspnea, manifest differently in asthma and COPD. Asthma typically causes episodic symptoms such as shortness of breath, wheezing, and chest tightness, which are often triggered by allergens, exercise, cold air, or respiratory infections. These episodes can vary in severity and are often worse at night or early in the morning. In contrast, COPD symptoms develop gradually and become more persistent over time. Patients with COPD often experience chronic breathlessness, especially during physical activities like walking or climbing stairs, as well as a persistent cough and increased mucus production. Another critical distinction between the two conditions is the reversibility of airflow obstruction. In asthma, airway narrowing is typically reversible with appropriate medication such as bronchodilators or inhaled corticosteroids. This allows individuals to regain normal lung function between episodes. However, in COPD, the airflow obstruction is either minimally reversible or irreversible, even with treatment. This persistent limitation makes breathing progressively more difficult over time, leading to a decline in lung function. The impact on quality of life also differs significantly between asthma and COPD. With proper management, many individuals with asthma can lead active, fulfilling lives as their symptoms can be effectively controlled with medication and lifestyle adjustments. In contrast, COPD tends to cause a gradual decline in quality of life. As the disease progresses, patients may experience more frequent exacerbations, increased breathlessness, and reduced ability to perform daily activities. This often leads to hospitalizations, long-term oxygen therapy, and a greater reliance on medical care, significantly affecting independence and overall well-being. Accurate diagnosis and early intervention are crucial for managing both conditions effectively. Asthma is typically diagnosed through pulmonary function tests such as spirometry and a detailed medical history, including allergy testing. Treatment focuses on avoiding triggers and using medications to control inflammation and relax the airways. COPD, on the other hand, is diagnosed through spirometry and imaging tests with management centered on smoking cessation, pulmonary rehabilitation, and medications to alleviate symptoms and slow disease progression. While asthma and COPD both affect lung function, understanding their differences is essential for effective management. Proper diagnosis, tailored treatment plans, and lifestyle modifications can help individuals with these conditions maintain better lung health and improve their quality of life. For elderly patients in particular, early intervention and ongoing care is vital to managing symptoms and minimizing the impact of these chronic respiratory diseases. But real quick, if you don't mind, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to support the channel. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.